Okay, okay, there's no problem. Um, you can just um log out and join again if that is the issue. Um okay, welcome. So how has the week been? Any challenges and um were you able to submit the interim assignments? And has how is the this thing going with the technical challenge and careers challenge as well? Is there any way like that can come in? Maybe there's anything you any questions you want to ask or you want to just share your progress and how you've been able to juggle this with that with your um work and every uh, in day life. You can just type it in the chat box if maybe where you are you're unable to unmute um, and speak. Hello. Hello, Yeshi and um, Tusnede. Can you guys hear me? Oh, everything is going good. Okay. Yes, Maria. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm okay. Yeah. So my this week it was, I was very busy. So I just submitted yesterday my interim submission. So I will work for the final one today and tomorrow. That there is no okay. challenge. If maybe I face any challenge, I will write for you on Slack. Right. I will start to do your career challenge by today. If I can, I will submit today. If I don't can, if I can't, I will submit it by tomorrow. That's all, all right. on my side. Okay, so um, you have everything on that country. That's great. So um, yeah. today, you want to share? Oh, I think you're having difficulty with your um, maybe your connection or your system. Well, you can type in the chat box if there's anything you want to share. Thank you very much, my dear. I, I will share on the chat box because I am busy with some clients regarding my day-to-day -day work. So most of the time I cannot able to speak. I will write on Slack on chat box. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. Thank you, Yeshi, for sharing. Then um to say they say for me, I'm qualified with for all my subjects for the exam i don't understand that you mean for the 10 academy or it is um, maybe your school exam or i don't get the exam part. okay computer science exam oh that's great so um congratulations on that so So, um, what do you mean like you are qualified for all the subjects of the exam, the computer science exam? Okay, so you managed to submit, um, I assume for the interim, or you need to, um, to still edit? Or are you, do you mean like, um, Okay, you've submitted the task, the um, challenge and everything for this week. We well, just need to work on like to feed it, right? Am I interpreting it well, too, Snede? I'm getting it wrong. Okay, I don't know why that is. 
but it's okay but i assume like you are yeah i understand <laughs> well i assume you have everything under control already so and if that is not the case perhaps maybe when you are proofreading what you have already then if you have any question you can just ask on the slack channel or reach out to any of the um tutors as well and yeah, congratulations on your exams. If you've written, if you've written it, and maybe you are qualified, or if you are preparing for the exam, I wish you the best of luck. So yeah, and it's really impressive that you are combining that with the um, ten academic training, and yes, you still get things done. That is really impressive. So um, well done. So yes, if there's anything else you want to share, you can just go on and share, or you can um, leave the meeting. But I'll still be here in case any other person joins, since the scheduled time is meant to be for an hour. So yeah, yeah. or you can still wait on it if you feel like. But that is it for now. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Uh, I couldn't found the AI generative report uh, on YouTube. Did you upload it? Because I need to need to rewatch it because most of the time uh, I miss the class. Okay. So if in case, if you, if you upload it or not, I need to know if it's available on YouTube. Okay, okay. Um, I'll check and get back. And if it is, I'll send you the link on Slack. Thank you very much, my dear. Sure. Right. So our today's meeting between uh, me and uh, you and uh, to Snaid, to Snaid. <laughs> yes. Where is others? I don't know. Others do not join me. I just stay here. So yeah, it is highly appreciated that you came on time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that different from here. Okay, so for you to write an exam, you have to qualify for the exam. I was thinking like you've been in class and then having the attendance qualifies you. Is there any other thing you look at? Like before you qualify for the exam, is it in terms of maybe you have to pay your tuition fee, um, have some percentage of attendance, and maybe the test, or what are some of the qualities they like they look at to qualify for an exam? This is quite different here. Are you talking with me, Mariam, or? No, no, is um, to Snelly, I'm talking to she. You can no, just check. Okay. So she's just explained like she has um, exams and then she's like, she has to qualify for the exam. So I'm trying I to see. understand what she mean by qualify for, for the exam, because it's quite different from here. Okay, uh, okay, okay. So um, the attendance, the institution fee, it's present and the exams. Okay, okay. Makes sense. So it's somewhat similar. Well, here yeah, they are not too strict about it anyways, at least. Well, yeah, congratulations and best of luck in your exams next week. So, um, finally, the time that others will join, I'll just go ahead and start playing music. And if you have any question, you can still unmute and speak. You can leave the meeting if you don't have anything else to, or you can still stay on. But I'll be here for the next um, seven minutes. So, yeah. Where are you, Dana? Hmm. 
analysis. Okay, am I good with that analysis? Yeah, but not so much. But yeah, this is with um say Excel, Google Sheets. I am good with it. I have questions on it. Um, to say they maybe perhaps I can help out. And if it's something I'm not, I can I can try to expose. Um, do you have any questions regarding data analysis? On the creating fiber table, let me see. Can you um, share your screen? Well, let me reach out to um, maybe Edith if she's available so that she will, she will guide you through. Let me see if I can get you to her. No, I cannot hear you, Cecilia. I'm just sitting in the chat. I cannot hear you.
Okay, um, so soon the when it is here, so you can just maybe type your question so that she will answer it. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you with it. Um, so Sunday has, I think, an um system is muted. Or we are not able to hear her, but she'll type in the chat box. She has question regarding the previous table. Okay, maybe you can put it on the chat box. Oh, okay. So Sunday, are you there? If you are there, you can just use the um emoji to this one. So we know you are there. And we can wait for you. So um with this she said that do I have to create previous capacity on each pollution? So by each pollution, I think you mean for every uh, acid or chemical state on the air, right? So it's uh it's not recommend maybe you can it's it's not going to be that uh, easy or like Visible in order to create for every city, a table for every city in every chemical. So maybe you can consider, or you can take. Uh, I would like. Okay, just even take the. You can choose one of the most important acids that are going to affect or that are going to have a high impact on the society, and you can make the analysis on them. Uh, meanwhile, let me check your uh, document and. Give me a second. Um, so, so did that answer your question? You can just type it in the chat box. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, as I, as I said before, try to so you know in order to take for analysis if you're going to create a table not only on the chemicals um but like on other parameters depending on the groceries on the food and things like that it's going to be a lot okay uh, so for the yeah try to take uh, the very important parameters it's not going to be feasible to create a table for every parameter so futures there so i think by pollution you mean the chemicals that is so try to take one or two chemicals that really have any an effect or an impact on the society okay do you get my point so, um okay yes yeah, sure, okay what about uh two okay thank you All right, thank you. So I think we want to then um, stand up now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Were you with me? Maybe? Yeah, I was talking to you. I, I, I think you said you have another session now. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was just. I'm just waiting for until like. People are going to train us was doing it for all and it was not coming up exactly it's not going to work that way so try to focus on the field so she said she did that for all for and it was not coming up yes yes i have just answered for that okay Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Go on. Can you hear me? Okay. I have one question to ask you, especially for Reddit. 
uh, by the time you are giving us such a large uh, data on the challenge so sometimes it is difficult to analyze such a large amount of uh, given data so what kind of ai tools that do you recommend for example for the past weeks i tried on copilot but copilot there is a maximum limitation right so what do you recommend me in such case thank you yeah okay uh yes she we're going to have uh, using generative ai for report writing format but okay, copilot in what form do you have used the copilot you have just given or feed the data and try to make some analysis is that the case what have you tried what amount of the data or the data that we have given was able to uh was able was copilot uh, able to took you can open your mic and make a discussion mm -hmm. if it is more than if it is more than 1000 it it says maximum limit so so you made but it was able to make a good reference i mean or recommendation or understanding of the data what was your point yeah, or what was to understand the, the data yeah, okay, what was your point or what were you expecting from Copilot? I just needed to know since Copilot is just some Gen AI tool, but not for specifically for data no. analysis. But yeah, what was your point? For example, for reporting. For reporting. Okay, so you, you made general analysis on the data, not a recommendation, I guess. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, my question here is, uh, is there any way, any other way to do, to analyze such large, uh, such uh, large kind of data? That's my question. Uh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I was just asking, um, okay. I was just asking, and what were you able to do with Copilot since they're not going to do the specific, um, recommendations or analysis they're not going to go through the every detail of the data and make analysis that's why yeah if i give copyright the whole sheet it just give you what exactly it will tell you the steps and things like that so that's why we've seen uh some methods like some meeting not some methods analysis or graphical methods to represent your data because really yes you're breaking yes yes uh, sorry, Radit. Now I am busy with some clients. Uh, I write on Slack for such detail. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. So just to put some answers, uh, well, that's why we're going, we're seeing uh, how to see, how to understand the data and how to represent the data in like, visually or in graphical meter so that it's going to be easy to see the difference or to analyze the data uh, in a visual method. And most of the things that we're going, that, that is better to use is uh, the extensions. If you're using Google Sheet, then it's an extension. And if you're using Excel, there are many tools that will help you for going through, like and formulas actually, formulas and analyzing methods that will going to help you to analyze the data uh, uh yeah okay before soon soon day yeah so try to use many extensions but it's the formulas and the analysis method and yeah those methods are going to help you to just analyze the data and for specific methods we're going to mention or we, we will see uh some extensions in the report writing sessions later Okay, I mean, terms of mission, what does it mean? Understand what business on the rubrics. Understand what business on the, what does it mean? Understand what business on the rubrics. Okay, let me check that. Can you tell me which part specifically are you asking? Okay, in stream submission, I get it. Report contents, business understanding, is that the question? Sundele? Yeah, 
I am sure that I have, I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but yeah, I need to, I need to say so, so yes. So report contain business understanding, chart and findings for what is the rubrics? Okay, business understanding. In business understanding, if, if the question is only the word of business understanding, you need to put first as an introduction or what the process is going to be. I mean, you're working for some company. Every time you work some projects, projects you're working for, for a specific company, right? So we need to understand what that specific company is requiring from us. And throughout the process, not the details, but throughout the process, what the final aim or the final goal of doing this whole project is. So on the business understanding part, you need to state what uh, your understanding on what that company is doing and what is uh, the problem or the challenge that company is facing. and so that that so that we know what problem or what challenge are you trying to solve okay so yeah that you need to st state the introduction the challenge and and exactly it's a very nice thing to put an introduction for your reports and to clearly put the business understanding it's important but yeah it doesn't it's not supposed to be that detail okay then just the what the company is doing, what it requires, and what are you trying to solve? Okay, thank you. I think we can end in the session here, Margaret. Oh, it's Mariam, sorry. Maria, we can end the session here. Oh, yeah. um, I think there are a lot of questions for now. So, yeah, thank you. Um, okay, thank you, Edith. Thank you very much. And Yeshi and Susnedi, thank you also for joining. And I hope you have been able to like answer most of your questions. So, if you have any, um, question you can still stay on the call if anything still comes to you you can just okay she has answered all of them but so depending we mean um say 18 more minutes before the end of the session so i'll still hold on in case we have other um training join so you can still be on the call or you leave either way is fine so yeah but pending the time if you are just playing music and if you have any questions just let me know Yeah, I'll go on um, to study what is the personal question. Oh, okay. So I have a degree. I'm currently doing my master's. And it's on, um, I specialize in, yeah, I'll ask all the questions in um, biochemistry. I have my undergraduates in biochemistry, actually. So, yeah, then I joined the academy initially. That should be 2020. I joined the training, the intensive training, but I did not see it through. I did just week one. Because then I, I started having issues with my system, so I'm not doing and then I left the data analysis and what works. So, but now I'm doing my master's in biochemistry. I should be done this year, actually. So, I think that answers your questions. 
So um, with the job market in Nigeria, what it looks like, it's just like every other African countries, I would say, the unemployment is high. So what people are doing now is more like um, startup business and stuff like that. But I would say the most important thing is just getting, like knowing your stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you have the required skills and then you maybe have the extra, go the extra mile. So you get something, but well, it's not as easy as it is. So it's not like after yeah. you have, uh, after yeah. graduating, yeah. there's a job waiting for you out there. So yeah. you have to like have other skills, acquire other skills along the line. So yeah. Um, does that answer your question? Okay, so what I think of plastic solution in Africa. So, mm, let me see. <laughs> okay, so what people like in Africa, we, let me use Nigeria for instance now. What they do or what we do with the, um, like going about um, plastic and like, is trying to we have different NGOs that are out there like just making people like creating the awareness about the negative impact of plastics and then we have the ones that are like trying to recycle plastic but to the best of my understanding actually I think we we generate more plastics and we are just trying to like hold it but compared to other like countries we are still um, we are still like, let's say, low on like the countries that generate most um, plastic compared to like the European countries and even the US and the like. So yeah, I think we are managing it quite well, but not too well. But there's this research I read of which since that um, that should be um, I've forgotten the university, but they are working on creating how um biodegradable plastics actually to replace the ones that are like the plastics we have now. So those types of plastics that the ones that like my microbes be able to like break down and they'll be degradable such that at the end of the day we will not have the um, negative impact of it. So I think if that research is funded and if it's successful, so it will go a long way. But then it's not in like Africa per se. Is it? That one is done in the US. But in the long run, I think we just continue to do what we do actually. So yeah. Okay, so you're trying to understand the analysis, so um, you can come up with a solution and to get someone who will have the same patience to come up with a solution and also make revenue. That's great. Like, um, from what you said, I understand, like, you, you came to, like, get, um, like to learn the analysis and eventually also meet like minds that share this passion and perhaps you guys come up with um, a solution. Yeah, since I'm um, along the line, also make revenue. Yeah. So, um, so let me ask you, like, which course? Okay, you said computer science. Which um country? So you presented this year. People were not interested. Where was that? Okay, Namibia. Is it twenty twenty? Wow. Okay. Wow. So in, you presented it in um, 10 Academy. Mm -hmm. Or you mean in uh, yeah. Namibia? Oh, okay. Uh, arts University. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think the thing is, once you know what it is you want to do, and it was like getting a no in the on the first this is normal. Or not is like it's normal, but I, even when they were not like interested, perhaps some people gave you feedback, I suppose. 
So, like, you just get to, and along the line, you just get better, and you don't know. And I think all these environmental issues, they are getting much attention now. So, if you continue, I believe someone will get frustrated with them, I saw it last week, yes. And the funniest thing is, you don't even get degraded. For example, like when you um, traveling, you see like plastics, even all these green algae and everything will be so you have to be there for years. So, and, and the recycling that they are doing, like they're focusing on recycling them, recycling them. Yeah, it's a good one. I even saw one where there's this lady. So what she does is, you know, this tire, um, motor tires and even from um, motorbikes as well. So she recycled them to make towels for for houses. Okay, you read about it, yes. It was a really great one. And I think it's just for us to look at how we can start using those plastics to do all that things because they are not going anywhere. And then they should limit the, um, like how we produce them if we don't really need them. For example, take for instance now, if you go to buy things in the store, I think they are now replacing these plastic bags with all these um, carton made bags. So that is one way to go about it. So, but we still have a long way to go. Yes, come up with a document with problem and solution. Yes. And I'm not sure if they have this thing in Namibia where they will have um, different people propose um, businesses and I need data from all African countries. Yes. Uh, how, how can you source for data? I'm not really sure about that, but yeah, you need data from more African countries to like buttress your point. I think it's just you just take it one step at a time, actually. You just take one step at a time, and even when you present your solution and look for maybe people that will fund it, like getting the no on the first try is should not like um, deter you entirely from like trying again and again because. I think that's how something good comes out. So just keep on trying. So I assume you are in your final year, or you're welcome. How many years is the computer science program? Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, you completed the diploma last year. Okay, congratulations. So, then, okay, it's four years. Okay, it's four years here, too. So, which exam are you not thinking about? Okay, okay, okay. Now I get to leave the eye and the so um I wish you best of luck in your upcoming exam. So how many weeks will you be taking to write the exam? Maybe if starting next week and completing it next week too, or it's two weeks. <laughs> Okay, two weeks. Okay. 
and you be able to like juggle it with the okay okay so you be able to juggle it with the um you to get training as well let me see you know the schedule and you can just like um check some of those things and i assume like you are not just you've read and you are prepared for the exams so yeah and i think you you have it like you have everything under control not that hard to me. yeah <laughs> That's a little different. Let's talk about except Java. Hey. I love Java inspiration. So Java is the only one that is a bit um a bit of headache. Thank you. Oh, so it was really nice, like chatting with you. Yes, too many codes, not like Python. Yeah. Yeah, good luck to you too. Thank you. Have a nice day and have a productive week. I enjoyed your weekend as well. I wish you all the best in your exams. All right. Um bye. So yes, yeah, she. So I'll stop recording now and then you can um